Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Scorpio Music and today I'll be teaching you how to make the main riser in my song Asteroids. If you haven't checked that out yet, the link is in the upper right corner. So first thing I'm going to do is let you listen to the riser so you know what it sounds like. It's a pretty simple riser, but there's a lot you can do to make it sound unique, and I'll show you some different ways to change it so it sounds exactly how you want it to. Alright, so the first thing I did to create this riser is I created a pattern that sounds like this. It's pretty simple. All it is is one pluck, and I just put two different pitches. I chose C and G, but you can do whatever pitches you want. You can have it the same, oh, that might sound weird, but you can make different patterns, do whatever you want with this part, but this is like the foundation of the riser. And so from there, uh, all I did was render it to an audio clip, and um, you'll see why this is important in a second. From there, I opened it and what I did is I reversed it and that gives it a different sound. It makes it sound just like this. From there, what I did is um, um, I needed to make automate the pitch so that it sounds more like a riser and less like one constant tone. So I just, you can change this to whatever you want, preferably it's 24 because that's two octaves. But when you change this, obviously, as you can see in the background, riser 2 just gets bigger and smaller. So what I, you do to counter that is here where it says mode, you change that to stretch. And so now when you change it, you can see it doesn't get bigger, it will only change the pitch. <laughs> And so all I did is create an automation clip. So what I can do with that is you can auto automate the pitch however you want, but all I did was start from zero here and go to 50, which is halfway up. And you can change this however you want, so you can make it sound like that. But if you just want it to sound like one constant riser, you just do this. It's a straight line. And um, from there, now I'm. This is optional, but I wanted to make the volume louder as it got higher. So all I, you do is create an automation clip for the volume and um, change it to whatever you want. Make it sound however you want, of course. Now, it sounds like this. And that's how you make the riser. When you listen to the song, you'll notice that instead of just being a riser, there's also a downlifter in there, so I'll teach you how I made that as well. So here's what it sounds like. If you've already made the riser, then the downlifter is actually really easy. All you do is take the audio file that you had for your riser, and um, this is optional, but what I do is I make it unique, so I can rename it to whatever I want it to being named to so I can keep track of it, e of it easier. So I just rename that to Downlifter. So from there, it's again just one pitch. What you're going to have to do is open this up again and super simple. Do exactly what you did before with 
automation clips, except this time all you're going to want to do is do the opposite. Start at a higher pitch and then end at a lower pitch. And then we're going to do the volume 2. Now it sounds like this. Super easy to make, and again, you can change the volume and the pitch however you want to make it sound exactly how you want it to sound like. Tip 1. Remember that you can change anything you want. I'm just teaching you the basics on how I made this. 2. You can change the speed of the pattern to get a different effect. 3. You can change the notes so that they are not the same distance from each other, and you can mix up the pattern so that it's not just high pitch, low pitch, high pitch, low pitch, like this. That's just a random idea. There are so many other things you can do. I encourage you to try things just to see if they work out. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like and you can subscribe and turn on notifications to hear my songs as they come out. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them all if I can.